Uh, today we're working on how and when to blitz. It's usually done off a really good return of serve. The partner with the returner blitzes the server. Here we go. So sometimes when I'm feeling really confident on my returns, I'll let Dan know, let's put some extra pressure on Evan. Toby hasn't been moving. He's the partner of the server. And I feel like I'm consistently finding Evan's feet. So if you notice, Dan's already starting in a little bit. He's letting them know, Evan, you're probably gonna get a low first volley and Dan blitzing. So there's added pressure off the return. You don't wanna do this if you're not confident with the return. This is only after a while. Dan, I'm hitting the return good. You're gonna get in and put extra pressure on the server. Here we go. So there I didn't get the return low enough. So that's another one, let's try that again. And so not only do they have a tough return, but now they have to worry about Dan blitzing. They're, not only do they have a tough first volley, but now they have to be accurate. They can't just volley middle because Dan's running right to the center looking to steal all volleys. And if Dan gets passed, I'm back. Great blitz. So I'm looking to get it low at Evan's feet and Dan's going in hard. Time's up. Thank you so much for watching the video. And please do me a favor and subscribe and ring the bell. And my promise to you before I go is if you watch all these one minute clinics, you too can become a national champion. Well, maybe. Hey! Kobe shouldn't have got that.